I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby. So, so if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Why sir, don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit now. me. Okay. Sir, okay now you now take you. my picture, dude. Yeah. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. They're criminals. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, my God, don't do that to him. You he guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Where are you doing right here. Ma'am, Oh, man. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. You guys really don't know what you're doing to my life with this, man. Seriously, please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Yeah, today's video takes us on location somewhere. I don't know where, but we're going to watch Phil, the pint-sized frauditor, a.k.a. the Napoleon Complex sufferer. Yes, indeed, he's going to become a gourmet chef today and show us how to prepare a sumptuous meal right before our very eyes. Now, if you believe that, then you must believe in the tooth fairy the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus. Plus, I have a bridge I want to sell you right here in Cleveland, Ohio. Come on down. I'll sell it to you cheap. At any rate, let's sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and... <laughs> Enjoy! Good evening, everybody. Tonight's meal is topless turkey and pasta. As you can see, I'm topless. Here's the turkey. And there's the pasta. Let's get this show on the road. Boom, let's do it. Alrighty now, the first thing we need to do is we get a nice Pyrex dish and uh, we put some olive oil in it, which I already did because I gotta prepare ahead of what I'm thinking I'm doing. Next thing is we're gonna take out some of this Genio, uh, no, Ever Antibiotics uh, Turkey. Or no, it's not Genio, it's Foster Farms. What did I know? And here it goes. We just throw that in there like that, and boom, let's do that. Then the next thing we do is we pound it down with our fist. For those of you who don't know or may not recognize our good friend Phil here, this is from News Now California. Well, he's now 55 years old, and he acts like a four-year-old no doubt about it he suffers from the napoleon complex though that's for sure he's only five feet tall and he whines and he cries like a toddler uh i don't know what possessed him to record himself making this food but everybody's gonna oh roast him for it no doubt hey let's carry on you basically are fisting the turkey you can get in trouble sometimes if you fist a turkey uh, in a certain state. But where I'm at right now, it's legal. You can fist a turkey. Then, then we got to add some of this great uh, 
Pink salt. Where is it? Pink salt. You always want to add salt because the doctor tells you not to. And doctors don't know squat. Boom. And what we do is we mix it up. You just twist and turn after you fisted the bird. Okay, you get all that turkey in there and you fist it a few more times. One time I, I fisted a bird in uh, Alabama and unfortunately I had to do community service because I didn't know it wasn't legal to fist a bird. Well, now there's quite a few comments I could make on this, but we're trying to keep this video monetized and we're trying to keep it good enough that the family can gather around and watch it. So I'm going to have to refrain from my comments, but let your mind wander because I know that you know I want to make comments. In Alabama. We're making it kind of thin today. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop it in this uh, high-end microwave oven I got. I paid $6 more for this microwave. Check it out. It's big time. Boom! Let's do it! Topless turkey, everybody. Some good, good vittles. I think so. A few minutes later. Now, I'm just going to taste the pasta first and put it in this bowl like yonder and then I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese and some olive oil right that's what you gotta do even if you're not Italian that's the way you do it I'm just happy he's only cooking for himself did you imagine this guy as a chef in some restaurant well I know that's a stretch because who would hire the lad look at him he was 55 years old and wears his baseball cap backwards. Ooh, that's a stretch there, Phil. No doubt. Well, let's watch him eat this lovely food, shall we? And here it is, everybody. Bon, bon appetit, as they say in Havana, Cuba. Mmm. Even when dropping some of that on the floor, it tastes wonderful. All right, guys. I'll be back with the, the turkey in a little bit, and then I'm going to have the full meal. But right now I'm just having what they call an hors d'oeuvre, hors d'oeuvre, petty cakes or patty cakes, whatever. If you were to Google the word buffoon, I'm reasonably certain Phil's picture would appear beside that word. Yeah, now what would possess him to record himself? Uh, rec yeah, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, he knows that people are going to poke fun at him. What? You're desperate for clicks and views? Is that why you did it, Phil? I call out frauders. I don't care. But not to worry. Let's get to the dessert portion of this meal, shall we? And now we cut. You always want to get a melon with a little yellow because yellow means mellow. Look at that beauty, everybody. That's a sweet, good melon. Trust me. Then, when you're really high tech, you want to get one of these gizmos. They're for like getting grapefruit and stuff, and you just put it in the melon and you cut it out. Yep, you just cut it out, make a circle. Okay. Now, once you get a handle on this, you then got that all cut out. You're going to take this baby and you're going to cut in between and you put it in slices. Well, we're going to have to leave it there, folks. That's enough of this nonsense. Uh, like I said, I'm glad he's the only one eating that because uh, I don't want it. Uh, I'm going to have to be hungry if I have to eat that. Ooh, I didn't even want to show you what that turkey looked like after it was cooked. I didn't want anybody to be sick. Uh, but anyway, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, morons, fools, and yahoos on my channel, 
please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks for stopping by the Phil the Pint Size Froditor. Cheers to that, baby boy. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So you assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, no. Yo, you're racist. Hate racist. Oh, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You go to jail, bro. Go ahead. Put Stop your hands on me. me, bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, no I'm reason really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing yeah. in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You, you just permit? assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla hamdula, alu akbar. Hark nuikan da kra, ulu wala fufatai.